Just when I thought I'd actually get somewhere first for once. Hello there, Mr. Reed. I didn't expect to see you here so soon. Do we know each other? Well, I must say, I'm a little hurt. The Yellow Kings know everything that goes on in this Borg. And that includes you. I've seen some of your gang's handiwork before. What's your angle? Us? Well, call us concerned citizens. And this is just the kind of situation we concern ourselves with. I believe you recently lost something important. We're here to make sure you get it back. The seal. Uh-huh. Gotta find it before you go complete cuckoo like all them chosen before you. What did you just say about the other Chosen? All the Chosen go bonkers eventually. Whatever you're doing, you better step on it. You ain't safe. And from what I hear, it's been showing. So what do you get out of this? I just do what I'm told. And my boss was very clear about this. Your boss? Who would that be? Oh, don't you worry, sir. He'll find you when all is said and done. So, do we have a problem or not? Not at all. You're here already. Do your thing. Just leave us be while we do ours. If Ebernote Blackwood shows his face, we'll put him down for good this time. Don't you worry. Don't worry, we'll stay and watch. Don't worry, we'll stay and watch. Ah, how old is this? Someone could have cleaned this up, right? Looks like everybody left mid-meeting. I'm lucky you bastards left your research before you fled. All of the Chosen are in here. Looks like everybody left mid-meeting.
Here, Mr. Reed. Just when I was starting to think I'd come on too strongly. You have an odd way of making advances. You're hardly the charmer yourself. I was hoping we could talk. It's the least you could do after bringing those gentlemen along. Those gentlemen were here when I arrived. Tell me. What were they after? They have been a nuisance, hounding me for some time. I don't know their leader, but whoever they are, they're determined. And so you slaughtered them. They wanted me dead. I retaliated. If I looked, Mr. Reed, would I not find your hands soiled the same way? You saved my life at the Temple of Dagon. Why? Oh, could I not? I suspected that you too were chosen. As it turns out, I was right. We walked the same path, you and I. I extended only the courtesy of a fellow traveler. Nothing more, nothing less. That's reassuring. So you're here on some kind of, what, pilgrimage? This is where my family once gathered, before descending into the depths, never to see the sun again. They left me here. Punishment for being a disappointment. Lacking the curse they wanted to exploit, as if that were all I was. I was told the Chosen all go insane. Is it true? All of them. No ordinary human can bear the curse, but I... I was destined to carry this burden, trained for it. It is mine alone, yet still I am denied it. I can't let you have the seal. Now, Charles, let's be civilized. By now you know enough to understand what this entails. I'll make you an offer. I have been groomed for this. I have waited my entire life for this. I am chosen. I am chosen. Let me free you from the burden. Are you saying you can stop me going mad? I can, with a ritual of my own design. There have been setbacks, yes, but now with a piece of Katiganal in my hands, I know it will work. You better start making sense, Blackwood. I can extract the Dreamer's Seed from you. I will bear this burden and carry it into the Stygian depths below the city. And you shall be free. Free to help me in this quest on an equal footing, or to flee the city with your sanity. It can't be that easy. None of it was easy. I have given everything I have. Everything to be here. I know this is my fate. Our fate. You can be saved, Mr. Reed. Let me help. I beg you. This is not where your journey ends. If it's the only way to keep my marbles in this forsaken city, then... Okay, let's do it. Ah, Charles, you are a wise and courageous man. Please, lie down on the altar so we may begin.
Oh, damn. Ah, you poor dead bastard. Did it crack under my weight? Sure, I could lose a few pounds, but still... odd. Fool! This one is beyond your reach. Your death ends here. Vagoka relu haft nyar i kutungi i relu. Charles, no! What are you doing? Return to the altar! Charles, no! What are you do- Fool! This one is beyond your reach. Your death ends here. <sighs> Something inside me fought the ritual. It overcame me and I... I killed Evernote. I killed him with my bare hands. Dead bastard. Looks like everybody left mid-meeting.
mad. Help me. He's completely yeah. mad. Help me. Please. The door won't budge. Guess I have to find another way in.
Seeing a dead policeman must be bad luck. Really bad. The door won't budge. Thirty-eight revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. And it appears someone tried to help him, but all in vain. As our material existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. Monaid possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, being added to an odd number, it turns into an even. And added to an even makes it odd. Wear this. Kill Vanderberg, and your sweet new wife won't get hurt. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. Bloodstains are still wet. This phone was used recently. <laughs> For this world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows. Dwarfed to insignificance in the endless corridor of angles, yielded by mirrors that reflect each other. Pierre de Lalande, Repercussions and Reflections. Le philosophe in canu, selection of maxims and aphorisms. Repeat the verse after me. Danaya ilya ogn ogn glui has thor for thara nek ungi ma. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine.
Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you- Ah! Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Okay, let's see what actually happened here. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you- Ah! Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send- Johannes Vanderberg was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. Blood stains are still wet. This phone was used recently. Seeing a dead policeman must be bad luck. Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. And what if I don't comply? <laughs> My officers have your head in their sights. Itchy trigger fingers, the lot of them. You really want to give them an excuse? Ah, point taken, sir. Smart choice. Go ahead, men. Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me, how did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I must confess I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. It seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. You better start brown nosing Carpenter. If it were up to me, we'd have already thrown away the key. Sir, I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Uh, shall I read your record aloud? Go ahead. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> a good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. Does the record mention I'm a former asylum patient? Perhaps it's best to, uh, tread lightly. Former patient being the regrettable fact here. You would do well to hold your tongue. I have seen things you wouldn't wish on your worst enemies. Electrocution, mutilation, drowning. Sounds like they left things unfinished with you. If it'd help, I'll happily give you a dose of the electric chair. 
You're not so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. You blow off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passersby. And don't you dare deny it. The work of a private eye does occasionally require some lateral thinking, but it's all in service of law and order. So you commit crimes to prevent crimes. Got it. The only mystery is why you haven't ended up here sooner. Just remember, if it weren't for your powerful friends, you'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail. Don't waste my time, newcomer. That's a very bad idea. That's a very bad idea. That's a very bad idea.